So in this video, I want to test what portable generators you need to power a television. So this is a 65 inch uh, OLED uh, TV. So pretty good size, right? And uh, we plug it into just the wall here. Just do a test. And we've got 120 volts from the wall, and you can see it's drawn about 48, 54 watts. There we go. Okay. 114, 161, 161 watts. So we can play some Netflix or something. 176. Thirty-three, eighty-six. This, when there's a black screen, you know, the, the LED goes off quite a bit, so power goes down. But. Okay. So let's keep it. We can just keep it here at the home screen. This is running 160 watts. It's pretty much near the top, so. Now, instead of a gas generator, especially inside your house, uh, the smallest gas generator you're going to find is probably around 1,000 watts. There's the Honda 1000i. That's still a 1,000 watt generator. So what I would recommend if you're looking for something to have a backup for your TV to run is to go with a more modern uh, lithium battery uh, generator, so a solar generator. So let's start with uh, one of the bigger ones. This is the EcoFlow Delta, and this model can do uh, 1,300 watts, I think, sustained. So I I'm not... Real concerned that this will, you know, be able to run or not, but let's test it out. And we'll turn on the AC. Plug her in. Power it up. Looks good. And Echo Flow says 143 watts going out, and that we could run for. Nine hours. It's a lot of TV. You can watch so good capacity there. Definitely passes that. Okay, next another large capacity is the uh, Jackery 1000. Uh, this should have no problems as well. Plug this guy in. Power it up. Watts, 127 watts, 151 watts, no problem. So, Jack 1000 has a thousand watt, uh, watt hour battery, uh, so could definitely run for a while. All right, next up, let's try the Jack 500. And we got 47 watts, 48, 82. 152. You can hear the fans starting to whir on that, but uh, seems to be no problem with the Jackery 500. So let's keep going down and see how small of a you know, battery if you just want to run a 150 watt TV or so. Let's try it out. All right, uh, this is the new Jackery uh, 300. All right, well, we lost our, uh, our camera there, but. Uh, this is the Jacker 300, running 162 watts, no problem there. This guy's still running the fans, so let's turn those off and turn off the EcoFlow Delta. Okay, so next up, we got it running on the Jacker 300. We've still got the Jackery 160 left. Uh, this is a 200 watt, this is the Yeti 200X. Uh, it only can do 120 max, uh, no, yeah, 120 watt output, 200 watt surge. So this is where we might start to see some issues. So let's see if the Yeti, ooh, it's not a good sound. Just, I don't know if you can hear that. 
Okay. Well, powered it up and it died. Okay, so probably not the best pick to do the Eddy 200X or the Jackery 160. I mean, this is the smaller one. Same thing with the old Yeti 150. So I'm just gonna stop here and say at least uh, Jackery 300 or I've got a Jackery 240. Where's that? 160, 300, 500. Ah. Hey. Let's try the Jackery 240. Just for kicks. I bet you this will work. Let's power on. Okay, power on okay. 152 watts. Yes, okay. This sounds good, no weird electrical sounds. So I would say, you know, the smallest um, battery power generator solar generator, I'd go Jackery 240, or just get the newer Jackery 300. It's, it's a much better product for not that much more expensive. Um, so the Jackery 300, and if you need, you know, if you need capacity, Jackery 500, or obviously the 1000 or the Ecoflow Delta can actually, you know, be a really good battery backup generator. So anyways, that's how you can run a TV uh, with one of the newer modern uh, battery generators.